Bring us up to speed on where we are, not just the United States, but with our allies. Are we getting support for the UK? Absolutely, David, and I'm so glad to be talking to you. Um, we are. All of our allies are very solid on this. When we took up a statement yesterday in NATO, all 29 allies were 100 percent for giving uh, UK uh, all of the capability to ask Russia for the answers uh, about this military-grade uh, weapon, new, uh, nerve agent, and this is something that's so important for us to realize because this is another type of uh, attack, another kind of a, uh, a weapon, and we really are not uh, attuned to having nerve agents and gas, but we're seeing it in Syria, uh, and now in one of our own NATO ally countries. And it's very troubling. Yeah, it's, it's very sobering, if not frightening, actually, this, this so secret nerve agent being used outside of Russia. But, but uh, in terms of what the response is likely to be, is it enough to ask for information? Because after all, Theresa May did ask for information, and the Russians essentially gave her a cold shoulder, did not respond to her. Is it likely that Russia now will be more forthcoming, given the more multilateral approach? David, we're just trying so hard to uh, bring Russia back into the international order. And they are defying that, and they're, um, they're violating their own treaty obligations in so many places. The INF Treaty, they're in violation. The Minsk Resolve uh, on Ukraine, they're in violation of that. They're doing all kinds of malign influence in Afghanistan, Syria, North Korea, where they could be part of a solution. Instead, they are part of the problem. And we need to do everything possibly diplomatically, and then uh, we will have to start looking at other things we can do. We already have them under sanctions uh, because of the uh, invasion of Ukraine. Um, maybe more of that. Uh, they just need to stop all of this attack on our Western resolve, our Western democratic values. They're just sowing seeds of discord uh, throughout, certainly, uh, our NATO alliance, but also the Middle East. We see it there. Now, UK itself, uh, we, and America uh, in the elections. All of us are facing different kinds of hybrid and cyber and uh, now a chemical, uh, very likely, uh, attack. And we've got to say to Russia, stop it. And we're looking at sanctions. We're looking at um, other uh, possibilities.